Let's talk about Dr. Disrespect. Okay. So, dude, paper is candy. What's up, man? Yeah, so Dr. Disrespect getting banned. It's it's pretty wild. Like, it doesn't make sense to me yet. And I, obviously, it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. But this man... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go at this uh, like uh, from a different perspective. And I think this is going to be, this is kind of important to think about too, because Dr. Disrespect, the man literally lost his main source of income like that. At the, at the click of one button, Twitch said, ban channel. The man lost his job. Yes, he still has other avenues that he's making money youtube he's he's making he probably makes more than all of us in this chat room right now he probably makes more than all of us combined just on youtube so the man's not hurting in any means he's probably making some money somewhere or another on on instagram on twitter uh he's got merch sales that he's doing really well on but we all know he was making tons of money in ads on twitch He's making tons of money um, on donations, tons of money on people, um, you know, becoming a member or whatever it is on Twitch through his channel and all of that done. Just, just like that, literally just like that. And it is so crazy. Yo, Zeph, what's going on, man? All of that money, like people that were month to month paying to be a, a member of his channel on Twitch is now no longer going to him. So what, $5 per person or so? He's not seeing any of that anymore. So I think really what, what this boils down to is like, if you are trying to be a live streamer, you need to not put all your eggs in one basket. Like I think you can stream on one channel, but you really, you have to do exactly what Dr. Disrespect was doing his his persona was yes it was big on Twitch but he's all over the place and he's monetized in so many different locations uh is he, is he G Fuel is he part of G Fuel because I'm sure if he is he's making a lot of money on that um do you think his sponsors dropped him for the same reason that Twitch did yeah they must I mean what he had he had quite a ha he had a handful of Twitch sponsors or just sponsors in general. And I think only one or two of them kept it. His toy sponsor called. Now don't don't quote me, but I I don't remember what what companies were sponsoring him, but I think most of them did leave. So again, there's another one like his sponsorships. There's more money gone. And by no means do I feel I mean let's let's wait for the news to figure out like what kind of feelings we're supposed to have but as far as like how he is doing monetarily i do not feel bad he is he is set but that being said there are so many smaller twitch channels youtube channels that are getting strikes that are getting their channels banned suspended even suspended in, in a lot of these a lot of these creators their channel gets suspended for a month what are they gonna do you know if if and i'm not saying this is where i'm at if we're if if i'm pushing even a hundred viewers per stream and i average a hundred viewers i don't th like i don't for one i don't think i would be uh i, w I wouldn't be a professional content creator or like streaming full time or anything like that if i was only hitting a hundred but these people that get banned or, or suspended and they do have a hundred concurrent, there's a good chance that they're they're screwed for the next month. They'll probably be okay for that first month that they're banned, but like coming back into it, it's gotta be rough, man. Yo, Newberg, what's up, man? How we doing? Um dropped him because Twitch knows something they don't. What do you guys think it could be? Cause I I mean, there's there's all sorts of different allegations. The one that seems most likely to me right now 
is that he must have been in talks with another streaming platform or, or something where he breached his contract. I can't think of it being like people are saying, oh, it's because of cheating or he hooked up with someone that another big streamer on Twitch and that's causing a lot of issues. I don't I don't see that being the case. And I could be wrong. I could 100% be wrong, but I could see it more of a uh, an issue contractually where he was going out and trying to make some money and they found out and they said, see you, dude. You think it's because of the Me Too movement? I, I don't think so. It could be. Like I said, it, it very much could be. But you guys saw all this like Brime stuff, right? This watch Brime, code name watch Brime. I don't know. Uh, Brime is supposed to be the, um, is supposed to be like a new up and coming streaming platform. But there's another one. Like, if you or I are thinking about getting over, you know, getting straight on on the ground level of a new streaming platform. That's so risky. I mean, maybe you do a restream where I would stream on YouTube. And I would stream on Prime or whatever they're going to call it um, at the same time. And then you can kind of like cross your your viewers. Um, but I don't know, man. It's risky. It's a theory that Ninja, Dr. Disrespect, and Shroud are starting their own streaming platform with Prime. I just don't, I don't know how credible that is. I really don't, and I think part of those rumors started because Brime follows Dr. Disrespect, Shroud, and Ninja, but they also came out and they said, just because we follow someone doesn't mean that we're working with them, and that that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because if I'm Brime, I want as much hype around my new startup platform as possible. And if people are thinking that even even if it's negative press once once everything kind of unfolds, um, but if they want as much press as possible, they allow people to keep creating the narrative that Ninja, Shroud, Dr. Disrespect are all coming together to create this new streaming platform. And they went out and just straight up tweeted like, hey, uh, nope. <laughs> nope the, the doesn't mean that we're uh we're in talks with them i was like that's weird that's kind of strange I, I i don't know if that's very business savvy but i guess transparency is is their thing so i just don't see a new platform coming in just out of the woodwork and taking market share from twitch from youtube from Facebook gaming, because we're seeing Facebook gaming has, uh, what, 8% of the market? That's pretty good. 8% of the market in streaming is pretty solid, especially for a company that, well, you don't really put two and two together with gaming and a social media network like that. But, man, I, I don't know. I don't, see, I don't see a new streaming platform coming in, even if it is big names where... I mean, Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, Ninja, they, they do have quite the following, but we saw what happened with Mixer. Just because you have a platform doesn't mean that people are going to go there and watch it. And I honestly, I feel like Mixer's platform was pretty freaking good. I really enjoyed their, their platform. It was easy to use. It was really fun for people watching the streams because even if you're not donating or anything, they, they have... They had like currency, just like Funk Coins, right? But you got them through Mixer and you could use them on streams. You can use them through chat. And I don't think you're not going to get that kind of interaction. Not a chance you're going to get that kind of interaction with a new streaming platform. I don't care whose name is behind it. I really, really don't. Yo, Aiden, how's it going? How are you doing in Shocker? But make sure to shut down because the workers were racist. They said that, that they weren't correlated. Both happened. Makes her shut down. There was talks that there was racism in the office. 
the two were not related. It was more of a money driven um, situation. Microsoft, you know, they have a lot of money, but when you're hemorrhaging money like they were and they're paying $20 million to Ninja, $10 million to Shroud, I mean, that money goes really, really fast. Really fast.